All right, good morning. All organized finally. We've got the backpack ready to go. Slept in the tent just there last night. We're gonna go for a hike. Around the back and try fish the back cliffs. See if we can get something decent. Good deep water right in front of me. I think I've found where I want to fish. Well, I found the area. I've just dropped all my gear here and I'm going to go scope out some ledges and then we'll set up a rope and we'll start fishing. Gee whiz, it sure is steep. Um, probably down here somewhere. I much prefer this already. Boulder, boulder, deep zone in the middle. Walk down here, wash the fish into the crack and hopefully not get it stuck. Or, yeah, we're gonna fish this zone. Just have to watch the waves, I'll wash up a bit more. Oh mate, that's just like, I'd whip on that single piece, no worries, all day, every day. Happy days, mate. I'm all set. I've just put some burley in the water. I'm gonna start off with the heavy outfit, which is a Soltiga 20K with a 100 pound Taz line and a PE8 Ocean's Legacy Aggressor rod. May seem overkill, and generally it is, but every now and again you hook something where you're either very glad you're using this or you just get blown away and it still wasn't heavy enough. So uh, let's go find out anyway. Just trying to decide where I want to cast. Well, what, how does that even happen? Um, I want to cast out between the two boulders there. Bugger, got a little bit excited. There we go. Well, the burley's going out right here, so let's have a little chuck just here in case it's brought something out to uh, feed, which is the whole idea of it. Fish on. Come on. Yes, break sea cod, big one. That would just, my lure just washed around. This one's got a little injury. There we go. Stoked on that, nice break sea cod. And as you can see, this one's got a bit of an injury. Possibly was shot by a spear gun and tore out. 
Um, but he didn't dodge this bullet, unfortunately, for him. So, yeah, I'll put that to the side. Delicious eating fish. Yeah, I'm going to catch a few herring in a second and then we're going to swap over to bait. And, uh... Oh, well. Alright, let's quickly catch a few herring as bait while they're there. And then we will uh, throw a bait rig in. Go on, on. Oh, dropped it. Got one. So it's all just sloping and awkward. Oh. Alright, got another one. Gone. All of it must have been a barnacle. That's annoying. Oh, retying. I got my leader. My leader obviously got cut on a sharp edge because that just popped. I lose my sinker. Okay, that's an easy enough fix. Let's go do that. <sighs> All that weight was just me stuck behind a stinking rock. Oh well. See, whatever it was, I shredded this. Might chuck it out there again, let's see what happens. <clears throat> that could be the end of my fishing. Yeah, that's it. I'm done. All right, I'm all done. Packed up everything. I'm about to leave. Bit of a disappointing session, really. Only one fish, um, but at least I caught something for dinner. And I'm gonna cook it up a different way to usual tonight, something new. And I lost a bunch of sinkers, so my backpack will be lighter than on the way in. I guess that's a positive in some way. So, let's get out of here. <coughs> Had a bad feeling something like that might happen. I thought that was a snake skin for a second. Just a bit of timber. Ooh. 
what a climb that was. Let's go up there now. Back. Finally. Plug a few things in. Charge that as well. Yeah, all gone. Check the other battery on soon. All right, back at camp. Plugged a few things in to charge drop the fish in the esky and I'm going to go for a bit of a wander up here there's like a little creek that comes in and you can see all this rubbish washes up there in storms so I'm probably the only person that comes here so I thought I'd go do my little uh, good deed for the uh, environment and uh, collect some we'll throw it in this and we'll take it with me and I got a bit of rope because I have a feeling I'm going to fill this little bag in no time so this here plastic bottle after plastic bottle after plastic bottle they're everywhere I'm already full I've already filled that what I will do though I'll show you I'm going to take it to the kayak and I'm just going to throw it in the hatches One, two, three, four, five. These can be my flotation devices in case I start taking on water and sinking. We'll just throw that in there. That'll be annoying otherwise. And also we're very fortunate here in this part of WA. I normally don't see much rubbish washed up on the beaches, but every now and again you stumble across a bit, but compared to some places, it's nothing, eh? Um, this is remote as so all this is just washed up. I doubt anyone has actually dropped it here Got myself a float score block of timber What's this? Disposable calibration check gas What's this for? Non-flammable is this like a little mini dive tank or something? Precision span gas mixtures. I don't know if anyone knows, feel free to let me know. Bit of filthy bait bag. Bit of foam. Oh, gross. All literally washed up as far as it can go. Who is this? Something's bidding this, I reckon. While I was floating around in the ocean. Just going to throw that up there for now. Whoa! I hit the jackpot up here. We got whale bones. That's a whale bone. That is a piece of timber, not a whale bone. We got floats. We got whale vertebrae. That one was a whale vertebrae. Whale vertebrae everywhere. And plastic bottles everywhere. So much. I definitely can't take it all, unfortunately. There's too much. I just got to pick. I'll take this. Might be able to repurpose a couple of these. I'll take that. Fishing rod. What have we got? The old 
Jarvis Walker surf combo. No, yeah, Jarvis Walker surf. Mate, what a find. F B O one, is that a B? Because it wouldn't be a three O one. I think F B meant to be the first your two initials and then your year you were born, two thousand and one. Better than nothing I guess. There's our dinner. I've just got to uh, fillet it, clean it up and prep it. I just gave it a rinse just then. Now, hands up if you are sick and tired of watching me panko, fry and throw fish in wraps. No panko, no frying, no wraps tonight. Something different. It's about time. I get sick of it too. It tastes great, but you know, a bit of variety is nice. Also another one, are you sick and tired of watching me go to ridiculous lengths to get to remote locations like this and then catching sweet bugger all? So, but hey, that's fishing sometimes. Sometimes that's just how it is. At least I caught something. Alright, we'll just skin these fillets. I'm not so sure about that bit just there. I might cut that bit out. Probably will be tough and not so good. It's like all scar tissue and stuff. Alright, I'm just going to cube them up now. Slice it into lots of little cubes. If you know what I'm cooking, good for you. You probably have guessed it now. Or rather not cooking. There we go. Got a whole bunch of Brexy cod cubed up in the saucepan. I am not cooking it in the saucepan. If you know what I'm making uh, by now, well done. You probably do actually, I reckon a lot of you do. I'm making ceviche, so we'll get out some lemon, some lime, some red onion and chuck it all in there. I might make the mixture in this first, just in case we end up with seeds everywhere. Oh, it's a bit of a dry lemon this one. That's a very dry lemon. I brought two lemons and this one is so dry. That was one of the driest lemons I've ever used. That was disappointing. Hopefully the next one's better. A couple of limes also. Now we're starting to get a mixture happening. I had a chopping board all ready to come and uh, I managed to leave it in the car. But that's alright. We'll chop it on this. A little bit of coriander. Some people hate it. I don't mind it and it normally goes in this so it's going in all right it smells great put that in there you know what i forgot to bring chili i wish i brought out something chili just going to sprinkle some salt and pepper probably less pepper more salt it all just wants to there we go and we're just going to tip that in there I'll put that aside, that will marinate for 
around about half an hour and I'm just going to slice up a bit of a salad mixture. Uh, it's been marinating for at least half an hour now, I'd say, so I'm going to try some. Actually, let's just try a piece. Mm -hmm. It's really good. I'm going to throw a whole bunch in the uh, salad bowl there, and if I feel the urge for some carbs, we've got the Mighty Jack's crackers to go there. Maybe not everyone's cup of tea, but ceviche. Oh. So good, so fresh. Chuck a bit of this and that on a cracker if I want. Chuck it on a cracker. day today I'm gonna to pack up and head on shortly I was planning on fishing this morning but um kind of don't know if I can be bothered at the moment it's been so disappointing the fishing um, I might just get on the water sooner than later and try out the kayak do a bit of jigging on the way back yeah got to pack all this down anyway pack my mattress pack my sleeping bag pack the tent down get everything over towards the kayak and head on. Find somewhere worth dropping the jig. See if we can catch something before the trip is officially over. And failing that, I'm just going to head home. So let's go see what happens. Jeez, Christ out here. 
let's punch out a bit further to my other marks. Oh yeah, there's fish here. Onwards. I'm slightly tempted just to keep going because the kayak is making all sorts of horrible clunking sounds. But we're just going over something. So this might be my final drop. Bit of structure, a bit of something. It is so messy, it's just like all over the place here. I don't think I'll hang around. I'm worried. I don't know how long these outriggers will last in this. That one keeps popping out. A little bit more. And then we're moving on. Oh, that was the bottom. Got excited for a second. All right, I think I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to just head down and get out of here because it is so disgusting out here right now just like well hey bouncing around from every direction waves coming over the lap if you're watching this video i did successfully make it back and i'm still in one piece and i uh, will see you all on the next one nz vids coming up again after this one so cheers see ya